Hey YouTube, this is my 21 year old John Deere JX85. Same as the JX75, except this has aluminum wheels and bearings instead of bushings. So after all this time, and it's been stellar, I need to replace the blade clutch. I couldn't find a good video on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one. So check this piece out. Now I'm gonna do it the right way. I saw somebody using some kind of cheap friction, friction disc and I'm not gonna do that. Look at this. This stuff is nice. I guess I'd call that the pressure plate, and this is kind of, sort of, the flywheel. Now, I'm recording this by myself, so the video may be a little choppy. I know I'm going to have to remove the cover. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, or 10 millimeter hex, I should say. And I'm going to have to stop the crank. So, after removing the four 10 millimeter nuts, this recoil starter will lift off. You can see I've already done that. The other thing that I did was to turn the fuel off and let the engine run to empty the float bowl so there's less gas to spill when I turn this thing up on its side. The blade bolt heads are really 16 millimeter, but 5 8 is a little smaller and fits better. So I'm gonna use ye old handy DeWalt to give me a hand. Now to keep the crank from spinning, have a 19 millimeter socket, a nice long ratchet, and I'm going to hold this as I loosen the 8 millimeter Allen wrench on this side. And what I'm hoping is that I don't have to replace the entire, I guess I'd call that the flywheel assembly. I'm hoping all I need is the clutch disc itself. That would be a nice, quick, short job. So I'm working by myself, this old scrap 4x4 in the concrete is going to hold this side still while I loosen the other side. And on this side, this bolt is old and rusty, so I'm using a 5 16 Allen wrench instead of an 8mm. 8mm is 315 thousands, 315 thousandths, and 5 16 is 312 and a half, so it does fit a little bit better. And it's also super tight. It's been locked on there for 21 years. So I'm using some leverage. I was trying to show the removal of this pressure plate. All I did was pry with a screwdriver, just back and forth on one side, then the other. And I was talking the whole time and explaining, and I was not recording. So this is why my blade doesn't spin well when it encounters grass. So, I will com compare it to this one. This one has blade material. This one doesn't. So, I think most of these are just gonna need the friction material. And you probably won't have to replace the flywheel section. You probably won't have to lift the engine, all that stuff. Really, I think this is probably a 15 or 20 minute job for most people for these old, old mowers. Now on reassembly, I am going to put a little bit of Never Seize here where the bearing is gonna reside. This is good stuff. And then just a little here on, on this bolt that holds the, should focus, there, that holds the pressure disc on. And then of course the two bolts that are going to go here that hold the blade on. And while I have the blade off, this is a good time to sharpen it, so I will take care of that also. Remember when we go to tighten this, we need our resistance on this side. So this block of wood is going to be over here, like so. Here we go. Back the other way. All that's left is to sharpen and balance your blade and then reinstall here by using the 5 8 socket, which I prefer instead of 16 millimeter, you're done.
Done.